uh, we studied different methods of analysis, including the branch circuits, mesh analysis, and nodal analysis. Let us start by solving this circuit here that you see in the screen using the three methods here. Starting with branch circuit. The first thing we do, we identify the sources, then we put the polarities and we assign the polarities of these sources. As you can see here, we have two sources, E1 and E2, and we have the polarities as can be seen in the screen. Then we need to assign the current. So from this source, the positive and the negative, the current will flow in this direction, entering this resistor, causing the polarity plus and minus as you can see. And the second current, which is I2, and as you can see, it will enter R2 resistor. It will cause positive and negative signs, as can be seen here. Then, so after that, we will write Kirchhoff voltage law in the first loop here. And we will start from E1, and we'll take the signs once we leave the source. So we take the sign here. So it's plus E1, then minus VR1, then minus VR2 equals zero. This is the first loop. Then we will just write the VR1 here. It's I1, R1, and VR2 is I2, R2. Then we have the first equation here. After that, Writing Kirchhoff voltage law in the second loop, we will start from VR2, it becomes plus VR2, minus VR3, plus E2, equal to zero. Then we will just write down the value of VR2 and VR3, and you can see this is the second equation here. Now, the third equation, to, to solve this circuit, we have I1, I2, and I3. We have three variables. We have two equations so far. We need a third equation, and we can write Kirchhoff current law in this node here. So we have I1, the entering current, equal to I2 plus I3. Summation of current in equals summation of current out. And you can write the third equation, as you can see, solving the third, uh, these three equations together using determinants or substitution or any other methods, we can find the currents I1, I2, and I3. Now, the second method here, which is the mesh analysis. In mesh analysis, is what we do. First of all, we need to assign the currents I1 and I2 clockwise, as you can see here. Then we will put the signs or the polarities of the voltage sources or in the circuit here. Then According to the current flow I1 and I2, we will put the polarities of the other elements. So the current will enter, I1 will enter R1 from this side, it will cause positive here. Then it will enter R2 from this side, it will cause the positive here and the negative here. And the other side here, the second loop, the current will enter from this direction, causing positive, negative, and positive, negative, as you can see. After that, we will write Kirchhoff voltage law in the first loop. So we have E1 here, plus E1, minus VR1, minus VR2 equals zero. Now, we will just put the values of E1 and VR1 and VR2. So VR1 is I1, R1, but VR2 is the resistance multiplied by I1 minus I2. Once we are when we write the first loop here, we assume that this current is the highest current, so it's I1 minus I2. Now we go to the second, and this is the equation here. Now we go to the second loop. In the second loop, we have minus VR2 minus VR3 plus E2 equals 0. Then we find the value of VR2, which is I2 minus I1 multiplied by R2, because we assume that this current here now, it's the highest current. And we can find out the second equation. We can solve them together. What we notice here in mesh analysis, we have two unknowns only. So two equations can solve 
uh, and find the parameters of I1 and I2. But in branch, in branch analysis, we have three equations, so we need to solve these three equations together. Now, this is mesh analysis. Nodal analysis, what we do? First of all, we will identify how many nodes we have. So in this example here, we have only one node, V1. Then we assume that this node has the highest potential, highest voltage, so all the currents will be going out. So we will write Kirchhoff current law for this node, so summation of current in equals summation of current out. So we have I1 plus I2 plus I3 equals zero. Now what is the value of I1? I1 is this voltage minus this voltage over the resistance R1. So V1 minus E1 over R1. So this is the first current I1. I2, which is V1 over R2, and I3 is V1 minus, here this voltage E2 is flipped over, so it will be V1 minus minus E2, because plus, so we have V1 minus 12 over 4, V1 over 10, V1 minus minus 4 over 5, and we will end up having one equation with one unknown, and we can find out that V1 is 4 volt. So we can see here, these are the different methods of circuit analysis. And uh, by looking here, we can see that the simplest one is nodal analysis. If you have only one node here, and if you have more than one node, then mesh and nodal can be used. Uh, one of them can be used. Uh, I hope that I managed to uh, explain the three methods effectively and uh, see you next time inshallah in the next video assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh